Welcome back everyone. You may be having an issue with your Oculus Quest 2, or for some reason this specific headset is just not connecting to your PC. Now whether you have it wired connected or wirelessly connected, there can still be a lot of issues that kind of, you know, plague a lot of these headsets. The first thing you want to do though, is you want to make sure that your PC is fully compatible with your Oculus headset. If it's a very, very outdated PC, that can probably be one of the issues. So that's the first thing you may want to take a look at. Now let's say that's not the case, the next thing you may want to do is actually check the USB cable that you are actually using for your specific headset. If it's a wired connection, you want to make sure that specific cord is fully functional. You want to make sure there's no issues with it because a majority of the time, if you're having an issue like this, it can sometimes come down to the wire. So just make sure that wire that you're using is fully functional. There's no issues with it. And that will probably end up fixing it for the most part. Now let's say you do that and that still doesn't work. Another thing you can actually do is go ahead and reconnect your specific headset to that specific PC. So reconnect it, see if that works. That still doesn't, you may want to make sure there's not an update available for your Oculus headset. So what you want to do here is you want to make your way over to your settings on your specific mobile device, whatever, you know, device you have your Oculus app on, and you want to go ahead and see if there's a software update available. If there is, you want to go ahead and update your specific headset, and you may see that that actually ended up fixing the situation. Now, again, it's not a guarantee that will do it, but for a majority of you, that may be all you need to do, and that probably will cover it. Now, you can also go ahead and update the device drivers of your specific PC. That's another thing you can do. You can turn off USB power saver settings within your settings application. You can also power off your headset and power it back on, and that may be another thing you can do as well. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.